Hello Year 2 and welcome to the first RE lesson of Term 4 and today we're going to be thinking about celebrations. Okay, so celebration, what does this word mean? Okay, pause the video and have a chat to a grown-up if you've got one with you or if not have a think to yourself, what does the word celebration mean? Okay, and can you remember a time that you have a celebration? Okay, I know uh, in my life we've celebrated Christmas and birthdays, I've had a wedding, um, so lots and lots of celebrations in my life. And I'm sure, even though you're a lot younger than me, you've also had some celebrations as well. Okay, have a look at these pictures, pause the video, and have a chat about what you think is being celebrated in each of these pictures, okay? So, in the first one, um, it's a team sport and they've won some sort of a trophy. So they're celebrating maybe winning a tournament um, or something like that. This one over here, if you look at the bottom, it says baby girl, okay? So they could be celebrating a baby girl being born because that is a big celebration when somebody has a baby. This one here, um, this one could be either people celebrating Holi or it could be people celebrating Diwali, okay? This one here with the fireworks could be celebrating bonfire night or indeed it could be celebrating Diwali because they have lots of fireworks when it's Diwali as well. The last one here, I'm guessing it's celebrating a wedding because she's got a beautiful wedding dress on and he's dressed really smart. So lots and lots of different celebrations. Okay, what other celebrations can you think of? I'm just gonna move myself down a bit so you can see me still. Um, what other celebrations can you think of? So I've put on here birth of a baby, winning a football match, somebody's wedding. I would like you now to pause the video and write down as many different celebrations as you can think of, okay? Okay, so I might have put on here Christmas, birthdays, somebody getting engaged, and when you get engaged, that's something you do when you ask somebody to marry you. Okay, Diwali, um, Eid al-Fitr, that was a, um, a celebration that we learned about last term when we were thinking about celebrating the end of Ramadan. You might have lots, lots more on your list. Celebrating the birth of a brother or a sister. Okay, lots and lots of things that are worth celebrating. Okay, so now having a look at Christmas. Okay. So where do we celebrate Christmas? Okay, and for people, this will be very different. Some people do not celebrate Christmas and other people do. Um, where do you celebrate it? I know normally I go to my mum's house for Christmas. We all go to my mum's house and we all celebrate Christmas together. There's about 20 of us, okay? Obviously this year it was a bit different um, because we had to celebrate at home, just the four of us. But we still celebrated Christmas. So if you celebrate Christmas, where do you celebrate Christmas? Okay, when do we celebrate Christmas? Now, if you do celebrate Christmas, you all celebrate Christmas at the same time of year. We can't decide just to celebrate Christmas in the middle of the summer, okay? So we celebrate Christmas on the 25th of December every year okay so how often do we celebrate christmas just once a year okay decorations what decorations do we have okay again this could be different in different households in our house we have a real christmas tree um, and we decorate it with tinsel and lights and some baubles and on the top we put a star on it a bit like the one on this picture um we also have lots of um, twinkly lights up in the rooms um, and things like that. So that's how I put up decorations for Christmas. You might do something completely different. Songs or dances. Now at Christmas, we have lots of Christmas music. 
Christmas songs. We sing lots of Christmas carols. And I know in school we learn some Christmas songs as well. Um, so lots and lots of songs or dances that we use to celebrate Christmas. Okay, what about food? Okay. Again, different houses might have different things that they have to eat over Christmas. In our house, we have roast turkey with mashed potato, roast potato, and then we have lots and lots of vegetables with it as well. And then for pudding, we have Christmas pudding um, and we have that with brandy sauce. But I know other people have it with different things. And my girls don't even have Christmas pudding. They have jelly. OK, so different houses will celebrate Christmas by having different sorts of food. OK, special words. So at Christmas, are there any special words that we speak? OK. I know I would say Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas to people that I see. Um, I would send Christmas cards to people that would say those words in them as well. People that attend um, Christmas. So people that attend Christmas in my house, um, I would normally have a lot of people to put on this list because it would be me and my husband, my, my mum, my two children, my dog, um, my aunties and uncles. And the special thing about Christmas in our house is that I have lots of family all over the world. And when it's Christmas, they all come back for Christmas. Sadly, not this, not last Christmas, but normally they would come back for Christmas. So my sister lives in Australia and my niece does as well. And they would fly back from Australia to spend Christmas with us. And I've got um, a cousin who lives in America and another cousin who lives in the Cayman Islands. So they would all travel back and we would all have Christmas together, which is what made it so special. So have a think about the people that come to Christmas when you celebrate Christmas. Maybe it's just the people that live in your house like we did this year. OK, or maybe you get together with family and friends. OK. Another celebration is winning a tournament. Okay, there's lots of different tournaments. You might have even been in one. Okay, I know my big girl um, was won a football tournament. So there was a big celebration because she won a football tournament. So where was the football tournament? Well, my daughter's football tournament was in Chipping Sobbury. Okay, um, when was it? Oh, it was a couple of years ago now because they haven't been able to play football for quite a while. How often? Now, she's probably been in about six or seven tournaments. Um, so there's probably about two a year. OK, decorations. Well, I'm not really sure we had any decorations when she won her tournament. Maybe we should have. Okay? But you might have um, the trophy, the big trophy that you can hold up. OK. They got a big trophy to share, so it was kept in the football club. OK, so you could call that a decoration. Songs or dances. Now, um, they have a crazy football dance that they all do when they win. And also they have a football song. OK, so very different to Christmas because Christmas happens on the same date every year. But winning a tournament doesn't necessarily happen on the same day every year. Food. Now, different tournaments you might celebrate by having different foods. OK, when my daughter won her football tournament, they had hot dogs OK, and ice cream. All right. You might know of a you might have been in a tournament that's won. So you might have different foods or you might not have ever been in a tournament, but you might know somebody that has been in a tournament and you could perhaps ask them what special things they did to celebrate. Okay, special words. So special words were things like well done and also special gestures because I know when my daughter won the football tournament, everyone was patting them on the back and saying well done, congratulations, things like that. Um, people that attend. So when my daughter won her football tournament, my family didn't come from Australia and my other family didn't come from America. 
It was just the football team that were there and all their parents, okay? So again, very different people that would be attending a football tournament to would be celebrating Christmas. Okay, the next one, a wedding. Okay, so you might be able to talk to your mum or your dad if they got married or somebody you know that celebrated a wedding or you might have even been to a wedding, okay? So my wedding happened in a place called Nottingham. So if I was doing this one, I would write Nottingham in there. And when was it? Well, my wedding was on September the 14th and it was a quite a long time ago because I got married in 2002. So that was a long time ago. How often? Well, I've only got, I've only been married once. So I can just put once. But some people can get married more than once, okay? Um, decorations. If you look at this lovely picture, um, lots of flowers, lots of people have balloons. Um, you have confetti, which is something that you can throw after a couple have got married. You might have rose petals. So lots and lots of beautiful decorations. Songs or dances, okay? And what normally happens at a wedding is the couple that are getting married, who are called the bride and groom, have a special song that means something to them. And after they've got married and they have something called the reception, which is like the party afterwards, often they will play this song and it's called the first dance. And the bride and groom dance to that song before everybody else goes on the dance floor. Okay. Other songs that might happen at a wedding if you get married in a church, you can have some hymns, so some songs that you have chosen that you would like everybody to sing at your wedding. Food. Okay, so when a bride and groom gets married, they can choose the food that they would like to have at their wedding because after they've got married, they often have a sit down meal. Um, often it's a roast dinner. Okay, when I got married, we had a roast beef dinner. But again, when my sister got married, she had afternoon tea, which was sandwiches and then scones with jam and cream. So a bride and groom can choose whatever food they would like to have at their wedding. Special words. Now, when a bride and groom gets married, they have to say something called some vows to each other, where they promise to look after each other um, if one of them gets sick and take care of each other and always be kind to each other. So that's the special words that you say at a wedding. And when um, <clears throat> when you're asked if you are promised to do all these things, then you might say, I do. People that attend. So again, a bit like Christmas, all my family came to my wedding um, and traveled from around the world, okay? Again, some people get married, they might only have two or three people there. It is up to the bride and groom to choose who they would like at their wedding. Okay, there's another one for a birthday. I'm not going to go through that one because you might choose to do that one in a minute. Okay, because what you're going to do today is the sheet talks about can I identify and describe celebrations? So you're going to pick one of those celebrations or a different celebration that you know quite a lot about. Okay. So if you know lots about Diwali, you could use Diwali. Yeah, you can pick whatever celebration you want and you're going to fill this in just like I did when I was talking about the others. So where it happens, when, how often, decorations you have, food, songs and dance, special words and people that attend. And here you're going to do a picture of that celebration. Okay. It's probably a really good idea to choose something that you have celebrated because then you will know more about it if you have actually celebrated it. OK. So lots of religions have special celebrations and these are often called festivals. And next time we're going to be having a look at some of them and we are going to focus next week on Easter, which is a festival that lots of Christians celebrate. OK, looking forward to seeing which celebration you talk about. Bye for now.